defensively. Ralph Street, the coordinator on the other side for the Rattlers, is really selling out, bringing up edge pressure, trying to stop this perimeter run game. Gabriel, end zone, touchdown! Otis Anderson, welcome to the show, kid! Literally only one guy's going deep and they're taking shots. Gabriel looking, throwing, got him! Touchdown, Nixon! Very Reggie McKenzie-esque. Good job of putting his foot in the ground, turning his shoulder, showing the breadbasket to Gabriel. Puts it right on the money. We've seen both of these quarterbacks, the true freshman Gabriel and Brandon Winbush, down here in the red zone, throw that nice, tight, quick slant game for scores. Before you have a chance to get ready and catch your breath. One hop on the snap back there and touchdown. Gabriel wide open, catching a touchdown. Alex Harris. Boy, this kid can really throw it. Zero rush. The snap was kind of dribbled back to him. He picks it up off the ground. There's no rush. One hops. Play shortstop like you did, partner. <laughs> and puts the ball on the money. Third and 15. Gabriel looks that way. Fires. Complete. At the 28-yard line. Gabriel Davis, the guy we were mentioning a moment ago against Paulson Adebo, round one goes to Davis, Dusty. Well, this is good on good. Going to be a simple post route. Love the protection. A nice throw. Got 20 yards into the end zone. In contact flag. Touchdown. Get off of me. UCF with the score, Williams. Pass center defense. Defense number 21. The penalties declined, and the result of the play is a touchdown. Gabriel going to take a shot. Has a man. Nixon. Touchdown, Knights. They just go. There's that double move again, Dusty. Yep. Open. Touchdown. Like that, Adebo got roasted and toasted by Davis. Well, this is something that they saw on tape, and they felt that they could expose Paulson Adebo on some double moves. He takes chances. He tries to jump routes, and when he does that, he can get burned. And as we talked about, Gabriel Davis, he put in the extra time and effort throughout the course of the week. He was ready for this matchup. And how about the ball? Can you place it any better? Mm. Quality touch on the deep ball, but I think a better route run by Gabriel Davis. <laughs> Into the end zone, wide open. Room service, Hescock with the touchdown. Yeah, they did not run the ball well inside in the first half. They're committed to it now. And they protected Gabriel to get the ball down the field and focused on an uncovered Davis. A bust, a complete bust. Pitt was running somebody off the field on the snap and gave Davis scores. Movement at the line. Flag is in, free play. Davis down the sideline. Got it again! Pinnick. Now the question is, did Davis maybe step out of bounds on the sideline? It doesn't look like it. Offside, uh, defense, penalty is declined, the result of the play, touchdown. I, I don't know why Pinnock is out there. He cannot run. Fresh set of downs for the Knights. Gabriel hits his man. That's Nixon. He'll score. And just like that, we have ourselves a game. Quickly they go, and it's a touchdown. Right away, they get under the center, they snap the ball, and they punch it in for the touchdown. And UCF has the game's first points, not even five minutes into this one. As Gabriel and company march right down the field, a drive that started inside of their five-yard line. And they finish it off the way everybody should finish it off on third and fourth and short and goal line quarterback sneak. 
Drives me crazy more teams don't do it. It's the most effective play in that situation. And UCF knows it, and they cash in. Dylan Barnes tacks on the point after, and it's a 7-0 lead for UCF. Here on homecoming, Dylan Gabriel finds the end zone, and the Knights on top by a touchdown early. There's one thing, the depth that you guys were talking about that Mike Houston talked about that UCF has. East Carolina just doesn't have it. Here's a slam touchdown! Second of the ball game, Gabriel Davis, his 10th receiving touchdown of the season. Quick strike, 16 yards, 34-3 UCF. Boy, I don't know, Ben, why you're in that coverage on third and nine. It's man-to-man -man coverage. Safety's up in the box. You're just asking a lot of your corners there. That's the second consecutive touchdown where they're asking a corner to cover the best wide receiver in the conference, man-to-man, -man, with all kinds of space in the middle of the field. Trying to get some rhythm in their game here. They've had none so far in the third quarter. Dylan Gabriel keeps it. Dylan Gabriel into the open field, slides down safely. You talked about that earlier in the game. Good example of it there. I was so impressed for a freshman, true freshman quarterback, especially one that ran the West Coast offense in high school, yeah. how smooth he is running and knowing when to slide. 12-yard pick up there. Now floats it out. Man open, penalty flag down. Trey Nixon trying to take this one in, and Nixon does! Touchdown, but there is a penalty flag Holy back at the 41 yard line. 53 yard play. 53 yard pitch and catch. Nixon a touchdown. Nixon's bottom of the screen. He's got man to man coverage right here. He just inside release and he tries to get back outside, and McMillan just falls. McMillan tried to hold him and Really didn't do a good job of holding him because Nixon Seal scored a touchdown. They'll empty the backfield for the freshman. Gabriel with time surveys, fires in zone. There's Davis, and there's a touchdown for the Knights. Touchdown reception of the season against the veteran KJ Sales, a transfer from North Carolina. And Gabe Davis is the volume catcher. He's the guy that's always the first to show up to practice, the last to leave, and then he climbs the ladder and makes catches like this. The right foot is down in bounds, possession of the football. Absolutely, that's a great catch. And that was actually the secondary look by Dylan Gabriel. There was a a curl and go inside that was covered, and it was Davis for the touchdown on the vertical outside. Sneaky good athleticism for Dylan Gabriel. Now looking towards the end zone, running wide open for another UCF touchdown. Gabe Davis, what a monster he's turned into this year. That one from 32 yards out. Eight in the box for the Thundering Herd, and Dylan Gabriel looks to the sideline for a change of play. Hescock in motion. They'll dump off the screen pass. Real estate. Anderson. End zone for the touchdown. Brilliant play call on fourth down and seven. The end result's a 35-yard pitch and catch. Third and goal. You wonder, is this four-down territory for the Knights offense? Gabriel keeps it. End zone for the touchdown. On first down. Far side Williams. Stays alive, tiptoeing the sideline. Can he get to the end zone? He can for a UCF touchdown. Marlon Williams, are you kidding me? To back huge plays. One for Marshall, one for the Knights of UCF. Well, the concept can't get much simpler than it was right here for UCF. The quick throw outside, the quick screen, and then a bad angle.
angle by the true freshman safety and Micah Abraham and you leave the door open to Williams and he ends up in the end zone. That's what speed looks like everywhere on offense and UCF has that.